Hi, I'm Jessica Pomondon with Royal LePage Atlantic and the Pike Group. And I am here with Ron Nelson, the owner of Inn on the Lake. Good morning, Ron. Uh, good morning. Hi, thank you so much for, for joining me and uh, taking a few moments out of your busy day to talk a little bit about Inn on the Lake. You're welcome. <laughs> so tell me, you have, uh, you've owned the Inn on the Lake since 1986. Can you describe your business for, for newcomers to the community? Well, uh, the inn's changed dramatically since 1986 when my wife and I bought it. Uh, it's uh, now evolved to uh, offer four meeting rooms, a uh, fine dining room, uh, a gastro pub, uh, 39 uh, hotel rooms, some of which are substantial in that they have two floors, multiple bedrooms, fireplaces, jacuzzi tubs. Um, we are on four acres of parkland, um, and uh, we have large outside patio decks, and we have patios in the parklands uh, that can accommodate uh, weddings and special functions. We also do quite a bit of outside catering to private jets, and uh, we're now moving into uh, catering to the local community in terms of takeout services as well. Oh, well, that's exciting. And there's also that fabulous pool. Oh, yeah, with the outside pool, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, not, not quite the season for it just yet, but it will be pretty soon, I hope. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's coming. Yeah, wonderful. So tell me, um, what made you decide to get into the hotel and restaurant business? Uh, Susan, I come from a high-tech background. Uh, I was an executive in the hotel industry. Susan was in market research. Uh, we were sort of moving to semi-retirement. Uh, and. Uh, we were looking for a small business to, uh, to fill our time. Uh, we'd experienced quite a bit of uh, travel. And in Europe, we'd noticed a number of uh, small boutique hotels that offered meeting dining facilities. And we thought that was needed. And there seemed to be an absence of it, certainly in the local market. And uh, that motivated us to uh, look for a property that would fit that. Uh, and, uh, when we looked at you know, the lake at that time, it required a bit of vision to see where it could be because it was getting to be quite a tired property. Uh, but over the years, we've managed to evolve it to where it is today. When was the inn actually built? Built in 1973 by the Pickering family mm -hmm. and uh, went through a series of owners until we bought it in the 86. Gotcha, okay. Um, so tell me something people don't know about your business. Well, I guess the fact that the business is there to service the community. We have, of course, Fall River has grown significantly since 1986. And so we have a new, lot of newcomers in the community that are unaware that we are there and that we actually offer uh, all the various services to the community, uh, not just to tourists that are coming in. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. What do, you, what do you like most about Fall River? Well, we like the uh, fact that Fall River is sort of off the beaten path from downtown Halifax and the hustle and bustle. Uh, we like it's a, a nice sort of uh, rural community. Uh, of course, the lakes are a fantastic asset. Um, and uh, we find uh, the people are friendly. It's a nice, a nice community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Um, so uh, you've been in the community for a long time. What, uh, what are some of the significant changes you've noticed in, in Fall River since moving here? Almost everything. <laughs> well, if you think about it, Sobeys wasn't here when we were here. There was a small little uh, grocery store with a bit of a meat market. Mm -hmm. um, none of the medical centers were there. None of the dog centers were there. Um, it was not, mo most of what you see wasn't there. <laughs> Few of the houses were there, that was about it. Yeah. But the uh, road system has changed cons considerably. Of course, the population base has exploded. Mm -hmm. uh, when I moved, when we bought our home in Schwartzwell, we were probably one of uh, maybe a dozen, two dozen homes in that community at the time. Mm -hmm. Even uh, the area that you're in uh, hadn't developed very much at that point. No, I know. It's all mo mostly new at Confederation and Celebration. There's lots of new builds up that yeah. way. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you, I mean, I, I love coming into the inn. We 
It's funny. I, I love sitting in the pub and my son loves the dining room. What is, uh, what is some of your favorite menu items? Oh, we like working with fish. Um, we tend to be uh, lean towards the French French cuisine more than anything else. Um, at the same time, you know, we try to do a menu that accommodates all tastes and budgets. So, you know, our pub specials tend to be much, you know, be affordable, um, sort of at the $16, $17 kind of range. When you get in the main dining room, they're a little more elaborate uh, food with a little higher protein cost. So that will get up in the mid-20s. Uh, but I like to think we offer a little bit of something for everybody. Uh, and so that's where we focus. Yeah. And I say, and I, so I'm a wine lover. I come from a, from a, a wine background. I worked in the, in the restaurant business for about 20 years. And I have to say, I really enjoy your wine program. Yeah. Well, we try to keep it evolving as time goes. So. That's trying to, uh, you know, find, find the big challenge these days, both in food and in beverage, is to offer a quality product that, uh, uh, that's appealing but affordable. Uh, and that's becoming more and more of a challenge as days go by. Fair We're enough. seeing a huge increase in food prices uh, that is getting very hard to deal with. So, I can imagine. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ron. It was great getting to know you. And I look forward to many, many afternoons on your patio this summer. Well, we look forward to seeing you. All right. Take care. Thank, thank you.